are some of the moments that stand out to you? Um, for me personally, being injured, that always builds growth. Uh, that always builds uh, character. It molds me every time I'm injured. So, um, not that I'm injured a lot, but I, you know, it's something I honestly end up appreciating. Uh, as a team, as a collective unit, the things that stood out, uh, clinching the playoffs, going to game seven, um, somewhat of an accomplishment. Not really, you know, what we, what we, uh, you know, set out to do is just go to a game seven. But, um, you know, we played hard. Uh, we gave it what we got. Definitely had some flaws, but, um, you know, we, we played hard. Malcolm, you sound pretty disappointed with the season overall. Is that fair to say? Um, yeah. Uh, I expect more from this team. I expect more from myself, um, this, uh, everybody. Um, I thought we, we uh, I didn't think we performed as well as we could have. I didn't think we went as far as we could have. The results speak for themselves. How disappointing you had you might to think about losing the game seven in Boston. I mean, obviously a tough environment to play, but coming away from that game, what's the most disappointing thing for you and this team? Uh, you know, making making some of the same mistakes that we made early on the season. Uh, we definitely grew in some areas, but there are areas that we didn't grow as much in, and that's that's hard to that's hard to fathom that we made some of the same mistakes. What's it going to take for next season for you guys to get to the level you guys want to be at? Uh, embracing each other from day one, understanding that we have to do this together, that we're going to be together, and. Um, you know that we have to remain on the same page. We can't have any disruptions. We can't um, get sidetracked. We have to, as my college coach used to always say, keep the blinders on, not get distracted, um, and focus on the right things. Can you pinpoint a time when maybe you guys started to come undone, or, or you weren't together, or didn't you know, let the distractions creep in? Not a specific time, but um, we've had spurts and that we've had lapses where we would lose three, four games in a row. And that can't happen if you're going to be a championship quality team. Um, so it's it, those are the, those are the little things that lapses and during games where we go on where the other team goes on ten zero runs and then when we uh, you know lose three four games in a row. You speak on Coach Monty and the situation he was put in. You know, why are Jason taking it to step in and kind of lead you through the playoffs and try to get you guys to do your thing? For sure. You know, he was put in a tough situation. That's a tough situation even for. Um, if you put Popovich in that situation, it's going to be tough. Um, he's going to take any criticism that comes that comes to the team. He's going to take it. He, he was the head coach, but um, you know I think he did what he could. Um, I thought he did a great job. Uh, as I said, it's tough. It's tough being put in that situation mid-season, uh, not anticipating that it's going to happen, then being thrown in as a head coach and having to get this team to the playoffs. And the expectations are the Eastern Conference Finals. Um, so that's that's a lot of weight on his shoulders. We weren't able to come through, but um, you know I applaud Coach Prenti. Can you play one of game in your head like I didn't get hurt or Kobe didn't get hurt and we're all together the whole season? What could this team have accomplished or just move forward? I don't. Uh, this is God's plan. If I'm injured, I'm injured. That's what. That's my path. That's my plan. Um, my path is is different from everybody else's. So um, I got to embrace what what God puts on my plate. How important is Jabari to this team and to the future here? Uh, very important. Very important. Uh, we hope to keep him. Um, but, uh, you know, Jabari's got to do what's best for him. Um, and he's a great player, great talent. We love Jabari. I love Jabari personally. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens going forward. How about him coming back from these knees? These knee surgeries in the play, the way he played, he has some really good games in these series. Absolutely, uh, played extremely well. Um, I thought he was huge for us down the stretch, um, all around. Um, you know, it's tough com coming off of two of the same injuries. It's extremely tough. I think people don't give him enough credit for bouncing back, for battling through that, and honestly, coming back even better. So, um, you know, I thought he was. I thought he was great for us. Malcolm, if I can get a clarification, when you said Eastern Conference Finals, did you mean this season or in the near future? This season. That was that was the goal. So um, we didn't achieve our goal. Can you just speak on the growth of Giannis and how much he's grown just from last season to this season? And he's become more vocal and, and guiding and leading you and taking over games. For sure. Um, you know, taking over games.
Uh, his play on the court really speaks for itself. Um, we knew he would mold into that. Uh, but, you know, his leadership has gotten a lot better in terms of speaking, in terms of being vocal, like you said, and holding guys accountable, holding himself accountable, and uh, being more the all-around leader we need. You mentioned you're going to D.C. next. What are some of the things you're looking forward to on and off the court this summer? Uh, for me, balance. Balance is a huge thing in my life. I, I look at a lot of a lot of guys around the NBA, and, um, you know, some guys have balance and some guys don't. And I think if you don't have balance, you can drive yourself crazy. So. For me, it's, it's getting out, traveling, um, of course, doing my training, getting better, but traveling, spending time with people that I care about, um, uh, eating different foods. Um, I mean, doing a little bit of everything, We're trying to help people, doing as much as I can to use my platform, my resources to help other people. And um, as you know, I'm, I'm doing a few water projects, um, so get a little bit more involved with that. Do you have any places that uh, specifically you wanted to travel to this summer? Uh, I hope to hit uh, Africa, Asia, and Europe. So um, that's that's the plan, but um, we'll see how that goes. Has balance always been important for you, or is that a trait that you've sort of grown into as you? It's something that I've totally grown into. Um, when I was in high school, I didn't have balance. I didn't have a social life. Uh, I really, um, I really just focused on basketball. That was really all I did because uh, I wanted to get to this level so bad. But then once you get here, things change. Your perspective changes. You realize what's important. And uh, for me, family and spending time with people I care about is extremely important. And um, it's important that you prioritize your relationships in your life. Because once basketball is done and everything else is, is washed away, that's really all you have is the people you care about. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good summer.